Hello and welcome to the Ambleside Online Forum. We're going to do a quick walkthrough to help familiarize you with the forum and to help you get registered and set up your profile. The first thing you'll see is this page here. And right here we're going to click on this word It says please register. We're going to click on the word register. And it's going to take us to a page where it's going to ask us to read the forum rules. You can click here to read the forum rules. It'll open in a new page. Once you read the rules and agree to follow them, click on I agree and it'll take you to a registration form. Pick a username. This is the username that's going to identify you in the forum. Enter it there. Next, you'll want to pick a password. Enter that there. Confirm the very same password by typing it again here. And then you're going to enter your email over here and confirm it by entering the same email here. And down here, we're going to enter the secret word that was given to you in the email invitation. And then you're going to click Submit Registration. Once you've registered, you'll give, be given access to the forum. And when you come back to log into the forum, you'll find the login right here. Click Login, and it'll bring you to the main Ambleside Online Forum. Now on this page, you will see a number of main forums. The Welcome Center is the main forum here, and within each main forum are subforums. Here you'll see Announcements, Meet and Greet, and Tech Support. Tech Support is where you want to post if you're having technical difficulties and you need a quick answer. Here, there's Ambleside Online Curriculum Help. This is the main forum for help with curriculum. And you'll see it's split by forms. Next, we have Charlotte Mason Study Hall. This is where we're going to learn more about Charlotte Mason by reading and studying her books and discussing how to apply her ideas to various subject matter, especially as they apply to Ambleside Online. And here, this forum is split up by subject, Bible, language arts, literature, math, etc. Below that, we have a forum, private groups. These are not visible right now, and we can make those visible through the user control panel, which I'll show you in a minute. And then below this forum, we have Amble Ramble. This is where we have our more rambly type forums. And below that, there are board statistics. This is not a forum, but this is just interesting statistics about our board here. All right, we're going to scroll back to the top, and right here, in this gray bar, you'll see where it says User CP. This stands for User Control Panel. We'll click on that. This is where we can edit your profile. You can change your password, change your email, change your avatar. Your avatar is the picture that shows up in your posts. We can change your signature, and your signature is the signature that shows up at the bottom of your posts in the forum. Now, down here, we're going to click on Group Memberships under Miscellaneous. And now this is going to show us all the private groups that are available in that main private group forum that we looked at previously that was empty. They are all visible here. We can click on Join Group to request to join a group. And at that point, we can wait for a moderator to approve our request. And once we're were approved, then that forum will become visible in the main forum. To get back to the main forum, we can always click on the Ambleside Online logo, or we can click here in the main directory. This directory changes as we nav navigate around the forum. As you can see, if I go into Welcome Center and the subforum Meet and Greet, you'll see how this Ambleside Online forums Welcome Center meet and greet. To go back to the Welcome Center forum alone, click on Welcome Center and that just takes us to that forum. Or we can go back to the main forum by clicking here. Here we are at the main forum. What we're going to do now is go into a sub forum here, Meet and Greet. And here we are within the sub forum. Here we see all these threads. And within each of these threads are a number of posts. The important threads that are stuck at the top will be in this area here. 
these are the normal threads. New posts will be placed at the very top here in descending order. As you can see here, there are several pages within this forum. This is the first page. We can click on page two to arrive at the second page and so on. To start a new thread, we would click here. But before we do that, we're going to scroll down to the bottom here. You'll notice a key here for these icons so that we can quickly see about each post or thread. Also over here we have different options for how we can sort, whether we want to sort last post first in descending or ascending order and what date range. You can also search this forum in this box here by keyword. You can also here mark this forum red, which would mark the entire forum red. And here we can click on this to subscribe to this forum. When you subscribe to a forum, you'll be able to view them in your thread subscriptions here. New posts are bolded. Threads with new posts in them are bolded. This green arrow here takes us directly to the newest post within the thread that we have not yet read. Let's pick one. We'll go in this one, which is very popular. This has a pull in it, and this is basically what a thread looks like. Numerous posts. Each post has the post's author at the top, and you see their signature at the bottom. This is Wendy here. Everybody has a different signature. An avatar. This is the avatar. It can be a picture or an icon. Now anytime we want to reply to a post, we just click reply. We also have the like button. If you like something that somebody said, you can click on that. To report a post, you can click on report. And down at the bottom here, we have a quick reply box. This is where you would type in a reply to this entire thread and just add your comments to the thread and just click on post reply. You can also subscribe to an individual thread. A thread is basically a conversation. You can do that here. You subscribe to this thread. You can specify whether you want email notification or not and then click on subscribe to thread. Let's go back. We'll go back to the main forum. Go back into meet and greet. And we'll also subscribe to this entire oops, it's up here. Subscribe to this entire forum. They have our thread subscriptions and forum subscriptions here. Let's click on forum subscriptions. And here you'll see meet and greet. So by subscribing to the forums that we're interested in and then clicking on forum subscriptions will be taken directly to those. Let's look at thread subscriptions. We subscribe to that thread previously. Here it's going to list all your threads that you subscribe to. Let's go back out here and go to meet and greet. You can sort by clicking on the headers. By clicking on views, the forms, the threads with the highest number of views comes to the top and sorts the entire forum by that heading. We can also go to view new posts and it would list new posts there. Right now that's not showing any new posts. Let's click on today's posts. Here it brings up all of today's posts. Again, we can sort by forum and it will sort it in forum order. We can sort it by whichever one has the most replies. And so these are some of the ways that we can navigate through this site and the forum.